I have two rules for items that I do auctions with. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, October 13th, and the post office was closed yesterday, so I'm shipping all my eBay orders out today. I've got 19 of them going out. Let's get to work. I pulled three things from my storage unit that sold. Uh, first is this pair of Skechers boots. I got these last year uh, clearance down. Um, I think I paid about $6 for them, and they sold for $28.99 plus shipping. Next is this putter right here. It is a Callaway Bobby Jones style. Uh, I got this at a garage sale two weekends ago for $5. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And lastly is this Coors Light hat. I bought that about six months ago. I actually got like seven rate of that same one for 50 cents each and that is the last one i have uh it's all for 8.99 plus shipping and that hat's going out to viewer named vinny he says hello the wife and i have been watching your videos for a while now you always find lots of interesting things i've been a reseller since 1999 and wonder if you could throw my ebay id out there vinny gambini if you have a spare minute could you check out my auctions looking forward to more great videos vinny i'll be happy to check out your auctions thank you so much for your support okay next is in b1 this is an army license plate i had a whole bunch of these that i had like almost nothing into and this is the last one that sold it sold for 8.99 free shipping and this is going as of your name skylar skylar thank you for the support really hope you like the license plate okay next thing's in c3 and i believe i sold more than one thing out of here so we're just going to pull the whole bin um i know that i sold this game right here plants versus zombies i've got less than a dollar into that it sold for 14.99 free shipping I also sold something called the Shoot. This right here, this is new in the plastic. Uh, that sold for $9.99 free shipping. Sold Rayman Originals for PS3 for $9.99 free shipping. And I believe that's it in this bin, so we'll go ahead and put that back. Okay, something else ought to be one I forgot to pull. This is King's Quest V, a uh, big box PC game that I got as part of a bulk buy up in Fort Wayne. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. I sold this golf flag right here, uh, US Open Winged Foot 2006. I got this at a garage sale two weekends ago for $0.50. Cents, and buyer reached out asking if um, I would do $35 shipped on it. So I said, yeah, uh, best way to do it. I turned on best offers and I said, go ahead and send me an offer. Um, with everything calculated, uh, with shipping and everything, that it comes up to 35 So um, they're in Utah, so it came out to $22 plus shipping. Next thing is a Nintendo Wii. This one right here. It is a console, 14 games, one remote, all the hookups and everything. Uh, fully tested, fully working. This sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Next is an F4. This is a Parker pen and pencil set. I paid $5 for this at a garage sale. It sold for $19.99 free shipping. Next is an E4. I think I sold two things out of here. A couple of video games. Let's see. I think it's these two right here. One is Resident Evil 5. It's the Steelbook Edition for PS3. That sold for $17.99 free shipping. And the other thing is right here. Resident Evil Operation raccoon city that sold for 10.99 free shipping next is down here in c5 it is a miami dolphins jersey it's a uh, players of the century edition paul warfield i got this down in kentucky when i was visiting some family and we randomly saw a garage sale so we stopped and I got this and some vinyl records and some other stuff. I've got $5 into this. Uh, somebody sent me an offer of $17.10 plus shipping, and I accepted. Okay, next thing I'm shipping out is in C2. It is a Joe Morgan bobblehead. I got this at a garage sale about three months ago. Paid $4 for it. It sold for $17.99 plus shipping. And unfortunately, that sale comes with some bad timing. Yesterday, Joe Morgan passed away. A uh, long time Cincinnati Red. Played for a lot of other teams, too. Just an amazing player. One of the best second basemen to really ever play the game, in my opinion. And also, just a great person. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting Joe about five years ago. And just a really sweet guy to be around. He did a lot for the city, and he will be missed. Okay, next is in D2. And I actually sold a number of things out of here. So I'm pulling the whole bin. Let's see, first thing is a Roku. It's down in here somewhere. Well, I know I sold this, so I'll go ahead and pull this too. Um, this is a um, Disney Mickey Mouse skeleton, like glow-in-the-dark hooded sweatshirt, new with the tags. 
Got this up in Cleveland at a little flea market we went to. I paid $2. It sold for $27.99 plus shipping. And let's see what else I sold out of here. Here is the Roku I sold. It's the 2XS, uh, part of a big bulk video game buy I've recently made. This sold for $19.99 free shipping. And two more things out of here sold that were part of that video game buy. Um, here's an Xbox One controller. Uh, the Covert Forces Special Edition that sold for $26.99 plus shipping and there's one more thing in here that i need to pull out it is this um sony playstation move navigation controller uh this sold for 12.99 free shipping it's wednesday morning i've got eight ebay orders to ship out and i'm also going to swing by my antique booths and drop off some records some signs and some other stuff first thing i'm pulling is a d4 I think I sold more than one thing in here. I know the first thing I sold is this uh, Pokemon Side Duck figure. That sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And that same buyer got something here in D3. This Walking Dead Negan figure uh, also sold for $9.99 plus shipping. So I'll put them both in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. Both of those are going out to your name Chandler. Chandler, thank you for the support. Really hope you like that stuff. Okay, also in C, or I'm sorry, in D4, I sold this Ghostbusters car, the ambulance. Um, let's see, the same buyer bought something in A3 uh, over here. A lot of four knives, brand new in the packaging. Those two sold for $14.98 plus shipping. And they actually bought one more thing too, in E3. It's this vest new with the tags um uh, club room that sold for 11.99 plus shipping so once again i'll combine all three of these in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost okay done with d4 go ahead and put that back and next thing i'm pulling is up here in h7 kind of hiding back there this is a first gear model tow truck um i actually sold this a month or two ago and the buyer wasn't happy with it for whatever reason, so he returned it, and I relisted it. It sold again for $69.99 plus shipping. All right, next I'm going up here to D8. And I sold a uh, Adventure Time Dorbs. It's Jake. I think it's this one right here. Is that it? Is that Jake? Yep, that's it. Uh, that sold for $5.99 plus shipping. And that's going out to the viewer. He says, hey, CP, my name is Elazar. I just recently started eBay full-time, and your channel has helped me grow as well as learn so much along the way. Thanks for all the content, and I know this sounds corny, but can you include some stickers? Yeah, I'd be happy to include some stickers. I would very much appreciate it. Also, can you give my store and Instagram a shout-out? Good pick resell on Instagram and eBay, YouTube, coming soon. Thanks so much for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, next is an F4. It's a couple of spark plugs. I got a dollar into these. They sold for $8.99 for shipping. These are going out to that goes by the name of Treasure Box Land. Thank you for the support. It means a lot. All right, last thing I'm pulling is down here in C5. It is a hat. This one right here. My buddy Randy actually gave me this, so thank you, Randy. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, I didn't bring a ton of stuff to the booth today, but I'll go ahead and show you what I did bring. Uh, this gumball machine right here, I picked that up at a sale a few weeks ago for 10 bucks. Got it priced at 34 and it does work. I tested it out and everything. This like earth uh, hanging like artwork, I paid $3 for it and I priced that at 14. Then I've got this Nesty uh, like warehouse dolly cart on wheels. It's kind of cool. Paid two for that. I got a price at 36. This metal uh, no skateboarding sign I got a couple months ago. I paid three for that. I got a price at 18. And then as always, I brought a bunch of records. Let's see, we got Halloween Horrors, Ario Speedwagon, Journey, Phil Collins. Most of these are priced, you know, around five, six, seven dollars. Bad Company, Cindy Lauper. Pretty good variety. All right, guys, before I leave here, I want to say a special thank you to a lot of you that stopped by the booth. Uh, Ilona and Alex, Charlie, Sandra, Tom, Ryan and Tiffany, Brandon, and Denise and Ben. Thank you all so much for stopping by my antique booths. It really means a lot. And if you are local and you want to check them out, I'll put the address down below in the description. It's Thursday afternoon. I'm back from the garage sales. I've got eight eBay orders to ship out. First is an E4. It's this big art book. 
I've done fairly well selling art books over the years. This is, who is this by? Georgia O'Keeffe, 100 Flowers. The dust cover is not in very good condition. It has some tears and everything, so I made sure I showed that in the pictures. I think I listed this around like $30 or best offer. Someone sent a best offer of $20 plus shipping, and I accept it. Next is in D3. It is a 2008 Ohio Renaissance Festival mug that sold for $14.99 plus shipping, and I've got a dollar into that. Next is a video game in C3. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures for PS3. I've got less than a dollar into this. It sold for $14.99 free shipping. This is going out to your name, Randy, who has bought a lot for me in the past. Randy, thank you for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Next is a bobblehead in A1. It is Tucker Barnhart, new in the box. I paid $2 for this at a garage sale. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Let's go ask if your name Jimmy. He says, hey, John, me and my wife, Christy, watch all your videos and even met you at our yard sale this year. You've inspired us to start reselling and going to start a YouTube next year. If you can shout out our eBay store, it is Front Yard Flippers. I'd greatly appreciate it. And go Reds 2021 World Champs. Jimmy and Christy, thank you so much for the business. It means a lot. Okay, next is right here in this box underneath Santa. All right, Santa, you gotta go over here. Sold two of these Barry Sanders Hall of Fame glasses uh, to the same buyer. I've got 50 cents into the pair and they sold for $15.98 plus shipping. Next is a bobblehead. This is Rick from Pawn Stars. New in the box, I've got $2 into it. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next thing's in B3. This is an L.L. Bean Puffy Vest. Got this at a garage sale about three months ago. I paid five bucks for it. It sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And when I listed that, I forgot to put the location of the bin in the description. So I didn't know where it was. So I think you guys have asked me that question before, what I do if I forget to put the location of the item in the description because it makes it a little harder to find obviously so what i do is i go into my active listings actually first thing i do is i pull up that listing and i see when i listed it and it was july 7th then i go into my active listings sort by uh, start date find july 7th or in that range and see what other items i listed that day and i go to that bin and that's how i found it it's not the first time it's happened and it doesn't take that long Usually just two or three minutes and I can find it. Last thing I'm pulling is a hat in C4. This is something my buddy Randy gave me, so thank you, Randy. This is an NFL hat, has the embroidered logo of every single team on there. Sold for $19.99 plus shipping. This is going out to the viewer, Trap and Thrifts. Thank you so much for the support. Really hope you like the hat. It's Friday afternoon, I'm back from the garage sales. I've got five eBay orders to ship out, I think. But first I wanna answer a question from a viewer. This is from Cristino Sanchez. So you don't do auction format, just buy it now. So about, I'd say like 95% of the stuff I sell, uh, I do buy it now. I don't do auctions um, for most things, just because eBay has shifted pretty much to all buy it now for the most part. And when you do an auction, you're kind of at risk of not getting a good price for that item. So. I have two rules for items that I do auctions with. Uh, rule number one is it's gotta be something that I can't easily determine the value, that it's just kinda hard for me to put a buy it now price on. And two, there needs to be a really good demand for it because I need a lot of people to see that and bid it up. So if that you know happens with something, you know occasionally it does. Um, right now I've got two auctions going. One is for some uh, vintage Ninja Turtle like mini figures. There's like a big random lot of them. And the second thing is a bunch of old baseball gloves. I think there's like 14 of them all together. And it seems like auctions tend to do pretty well with those. So we'll see how they do. All right, first thing I'm shipping out is an E2. This is an air purifier, a uh, new open box. I've got $5 into it that sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is not in a bin. It's just sitting loose right here. It is a Douglas fir talking Christmas tree. I got this at a garage sale about a month ago for $2 and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Since that thing talks and like moves around, I added a video to the um, description and I think that helped it sell. So if you guys don't know how to do that, it's really easy to do. What I do is I go to a website called flippertools.com. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. It's just a really good resource for resellers. And there's a uh, link in there. I'll put it down in the description, but you go in, you click on the, thing to add a video for flipper flipper tools and you um 
put in the YouTube URL in there, and then you hit a button, and you copy that into the HTML version of the description of your eBay listing. Pretty simple to do. Um, the video, I just took it on my phone, it was maybe 20 seconds, uploaded it to YouTube, made it unlisted so that the only way somebody could see it is if they had the link, which is what I put in the description, and it's good to go. So an extra five minutes of work, and I think it helps sell that. I've done that in the past with a few things before, Anytime, you know, I'm going to show something working or like if it sings a song or moves around or whatever, I think videos definitely help. Next is down here in A5. So a couple things out here actually. First is uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl for the Wii. I got this yesterday uh, with that Wii and all the stuff that I bought. Uh, I spent $30 on the Wii and the games and this sold for $17.99 plus shipping. I'm sorry, it sold for $17.99, free shipping. Other thing I sold out of here is a hat right here. I also picked this up yesterday. I've got $2.50 into it. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is actually something that my wife found. Here it is. It is an Oster waffle maker. It's one that like flips over and stuff. Actually kind of cool. Um, we paid $3 for this at a garage sale and it sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Last thing I'm shipping is right here. I just listed this a few hours ago and sold right away uh this is a brady bunch autographed uh picture and collage i got this today at a garage sale for five dollars it sold for 49.99 plus shipping if your name william bought that he says thanks john can i get a shout out for my ebay store it's houston underscore picker 836 william happy to shout out your store and thank you so much for the support that's it for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time